Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. Today we are looking at all of the unturned exclusive Steam cosmetics um, and how you unlock them or how you get them. Some you can't get anymore. We'll talk about those at the end, but first let's talk about the ones that you can get and how you do it. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, please do click that like button as it does help me out quite a bit. Let's get right into it. All right, the first one we're going to talk about is the unturned 2021 Christmas items. Christmas cosmetics. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to run the Christmas version of Unturned. Uh, people previously thought that you couldn't do this, but uh, thanks to my homie Hollow Point, he, he told me how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your library, click right click on Unturned, click Properties, um, go down here to Launch Options, and then in Launch Options you're going to go Dash Holiday equals Christmas. Now let's see if he's trolling me or if this actually works. All right, this is the moment of truth. And also I'm using Panda's video or the information in Panda's video uh, to get these achievements. So definitely go check out Panda's channel and check out that video if what I do here isn't concise enough. All right, guys, we're on the PEI map. And the first thing you're going to do is teleport to uh, the beach. It's gonna put you in the water here. You're just gonna go ashore and we're gonna go right over there. Now it's time to steal carrot noses, starting with the guy with the circle. We'll steal his nose, see where the line takes us. Steal his nose. Final one. Bam. Here's a present. Got a shovel. Now let's go dig out some snow here. All right, we have a ton of snowballs. Let's go build this guy up. Okay, we need 10 metal buttons. I mean, 10 metal for the buttons and the face and stuff. Okay, two pine logs for the arms. Okay, you actually need four carrots for his nose. There we go. Package. Okay, we got this thing. Oh, achievement unlocked architect all right now we are in washington and we're doing the next one here so you're going to need to get a pickaxe you're going to mine these things to get these crystals you're going to need five of these crystals four scrap and two chemicals all right once you have everything just head to the tower okay we're doing this this in the dark because it might be super cool we're going to place everything here oops wow look at that achievement unlocked cool box all right now we're on the russia map we did slash teleport liberator we went downstairs here into the basement and now we're going to talk to this chef guy here festive recipe except flour chocolate bar and eggs flour bought a chocolate bar put it in there put some eggs in there mix it up pick it up put it on the sheet pick up the sheet put it in the oven And they're ready, look at that. Put it back on the counter, pick up the things. Achievement unlocked, cookie cook. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the chef guy again. We did it. Get the Alice pack. Oh yeah. Scrap it. <laughs> All right, now we gotta go to White Horse, which is right here. We're going like right around here, I think. Okay, it took us a second, but we found the sleigh. So it's like right here where I'm at. I'm gonna pick all these presents up and then we gotta go deliver them to places. Okay, so first we're going to the donut store in White Horse. Let's chuck this guy down there. All right, police station for the second one. All right, fire station for the third one. Oh my God. All right, and finally hockey rink for the last one. All right, we go back to Santa's sleigh. And here we go. Pick up the small gift. Oh, these guys are still after us. Santa's little helper, there it is, we got it. All right, there they are, post-game summary, all four achievements. Now let's go look at our items. You do have to restart your game, I believe, to see the items. So we're actually just gonna look at them in our inventory because that's easier. Here it is, festive toque. Toque? I don't even know how to say that. Toque? <laughs> God. Festive bandolier, festive bow, festive belt. So isn't that cool? And I think the toque actually changes your hair color when you're wearing it, or no, changes based on your hair color. And so that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, let's get right into the next item. Okay, next item we're looking at is the experienced beret. And so to get this, all you have to do is just get 2,400 hours in game. And so even if you're not playing, you could just leave your game open 24 seven and you could get it relatively quickly. It should take you like a quarter of a year or something like that, I think. Uh, but there's also 
the double experienced beret, which is just two experienced berets stacked on each other. I don't know what it looks like, but I'm about to get it pretty soon here. And then there's the triple experienced beret also, which is just three experienced berets, I guess. It'll be interesting to see what those look like. But I think I have like, I have to leave unturned running for like 250 days or something to get, or 250 more days, that is, to get the triple experienced beret. So that's going to be pretty insane. All right, next let's talk about the uh, the gold items. Um, and we're specifically talking about this row, this row, this one, and that's it. Ignore the rest of them here. But the way you get these is you just buy the um, $4.99 upgraded version of Unturned. This is one of the perks you get. There are actually a lot of perks. So if you haven't done that, I would consider doing it. Okay, next is the Platinum Monocle. And the way you get this is you just have to mail like snail mail like actually like through the post office you have to mail nelson sexton a letter and it has to contain your steam id 64 and include a little note in there saying hey what's up nelson or something like that and he will give you the platinum monocle this is not a troll this is a real thing uh do it and let me prove you right i guess um and i will have the address down in the description below Okay, next we have the graduation cap. The way you get this is by completing the tutorial section of Unturned. So you're, when you're in Unturned, you just click play, and then you click tutorial, and you just complete the tutorial. Really simple. Get a free item, a graduation cap. Next is the off-brand hoodie, um, which you get that by completing the Honorary Benson Achievement. So let's, uh, let's go do that real quick. Okay, so you're going to go to your single player, um, and then you're going to go to Curated, and you're going to go to Elver. And if you haven't subscribed to it, you have to subscribe and download it. So go into your single player Elver world. Okay, once you're in your Elver world. So normally to get this uh, uh, t-shirt, you have to complete all the quests. But instead, you could just type in teleport credits. Take you to the credits. And then just um, go over here, click continue. And then it'll give it to you. What the heck? Anyway, well, that should have gotten you it right there. So uh, there you go. All right, here's another cosmetic that you can still apparently claim. It's, it's the HMD helmet or face mask or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a virtual reality headset. And the way you used to get this is by playing Unturned, like the virtual reality version of Unturned. Don't really understand virtual reality stuff at all. Never done it before. But Nelson told me that you can still buy this. Not buy, you can still get this thing. Um, because it's linked to a couple games um, like Alex and Tilt Brush. So you can no longer obtain it by playing Unturned VR because it's no longer supported. So we are. this is going to be the most expensive <laughs> cosmetic I've ever bought on Unturned. Oh my God. So we're going to buy Tilt Brush and we're going to <laughs> hope that just by launching it, it gives us the item because we don't have a VR headset. If it comes down to it, we might have to buy a VR headset, but here goes 20 bucks, guys. Okay, here it is. We purchased Tilt Brush. Time to install it and see what happens. Okay, it didn't take long at all. Let's launch it and see if it gives us the cosmetic. Oh, it didn't actually install. <laughs> oh my God, moment of truth. Please give it to us. Failed to detect VR. Oh no. Do we actually have to have the VR? Uh, oh my gosh, guys. We got it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like a giant brick on our face. I can't believe it worked. You don't need to buy the headset. You just need to buy the game. Cool. Well, we could have saved $20 by just playing, or not even playing, but just launching the VR unturned, but rip to that, at least we got the cosmetic. All right, so that's all I'm aware of that you can still get as far as obtainable items, unless you do certain things that we're gonna talk about here. There's There are other items you can get, but they're a little bit more difficult. It's not just like an unlock thing, uh, but I'll show you how to do that too real quick here. Um, also, I do wanna mention that Dragon Beast helped me with some of this information coming up, so thank you for Dra to Dragon Beast, and also thank you to the wiki and the fandom wiki, because I, I don't know. I'm always looking up stuff on all of those. Um, so, yeah. All right. It's still interesting to look at items, even if you can no longer get them. So we're going to look at all of the uh, limited release items that I know of. Besides, like, there's gun skins and stuff that were given to individuals. Like, I think Panda has 
has one like a maple strike that turns people into gold when he kills them like a gold statue and there's like a bronze gun or something that turns people into a bronze statue i don't really know anything about that but we're just going to look at like the cosmetic -y cosmetics not the gun cosmetics first we have the crimson beret um this was given to those who played unturned before it was released on steam then we have the gold beret it was also given to players um, who played unturned before it was released on steam then we have the early access beret and t-shirt uh, these two items were given to players who played unturned before the official launch of the game on july 7th 2017. it, I, it does not feel like it's been that long guys wild next we have the white beret so it is no longer available. Uh, that's what it says on Nelson's wiki. And so it used to be awarded for serious exploits and security flaws. Next, we have the Battle Eye Mask. This item is only owned by Bastion Suter, the owner or something like that of Battle Eye Anti-Cheat. Next, we have the Battle Eye Halo hat. I actually don't have a picture of it here, but the Battle Eye Halo was given to players who were unfairly banned by Battle Eye. There was a brief period of time where a relatively large number of players were unfairly banned from Battle Eye as they were not hacking. Those players were given the Battle Eye Halo. It's unclear if you could, um, if you would get this item if you were unfairly banned and then unbanned today, um, but it's probably not worth a shot. I've heard of people trying to get or thinking about trying to get banned and then trying to get unbanned to see if they would get it. But guys, that's a dumb thing to do. Don't do that. <laughs> Then we have the mod t-shirt and this shirt is given to moderators of the unturned steam forms then we have nelson's outfit which i think is really funny didn't know this one existed uh nelson's outfit is a shirt that was made for nelson and is unobtainable i don't remember who made it for him i think it was the union or something like that but maybe if you change your legal name to nelson sexton he will give it to you give it a try and let me out let me know how it goes <laughs> then we have the shiny screenshot contest sweater uh, those who submitted screenshots that were used as unturned loading screens were given this item. Then we have the Twitch t-shirt, which actually this is still obtainable. I don't know why I didn't include it in the first part of the video. I believe this is still obtainable. Um, you just have to be a popular um, unturned streamer on Twitch. And I guess you get this t-shirt. I don't really know how you go about that. But if you had a large following and you um, stream on unturned pretty frequently, you could probably shoot him an email and maybe get that guy. Then we have the debuggers beret. This beret is given to those who have reported a number of nasty bugs or glitches to Nelson. I don't believe you can still obtain this beret. You might be able to, but um, if I remember correctly, Nelson stopped giving it out, out at some point. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Man, there are some freaking cool items and cool items that you can even still get if you're dedicated to it and take the time to figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.